Hello, I'm Tenet, and welcome to Craft of XL2. We're taking a break from Chroma Endless 2, like I said before, because I couldn't find the footage, and I'm sad, and I have to do a lot of stuff for that. So today, we'll be playing this instead. So we have our quest book open, and we have our quest. Obviously, we want to do this to get the backpack and the bread. Ooh, we're a bit laggy, but it should be fixed later on. This is money. Obviously, we love money. This is character stats. Uh, you can read this all if you want. This is just pressing H, opens up this, and if we do that, we get this so we have a lot of stuff here so we have minus slash hub which is our stats as you can see we can do a lot of stuff here um we have characters salvaging features stats uh jewels talents spell skull uh scale hop bar and then classes for the classes we're going to try necromancy because i love necromancy and we get to summon some zombies you summon some skeletons you can learn return summon which i think regroups and then we have some other stuff here as well so we're going to go with this obviously we're going to put our points into that We'll get poison blast as well. Then I have one passive point we can do here, which goes over here. But we can't do that just yet because we're not level 5 to get this yet. So everything goes from up, down to up. So these are the best spells we can do. And these are the normal spells we can do at the first level. So we're going to do that. We can also get something else here. If I remember correctly, we can go into totems to get the uh, rejuvenating totem. from I don't know what skill this is. But we can multi-class into this to get this. And this is going to be really good for helping up our zombies. Now, if you're wondering why I know all this, because I played this earlier, and I tried to make a video of it, and I didn't like the world that we were in, so we tried a new world. So here we are, this is the second recording of everything here. Blah, 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 blah. So H allows us to go into quest, wallet, or waypoints, minimap, jade settings, inventory hut settings, light overlay, food book, and then feed the, beast, feed the beast teams, which we are lonely in this world, so we will not be doing any of that. We also have a mod I added myself called Effortless Building, because I don't like building. So that's what we have here. So we have a different options where we can make a single line, wall, floor, cube, diagonal line, diagonal wall, slope floor, circle, cylinder, and a sphere. It's going to help me out with building because I do not like putting blocks down one by one. So that's the only thing I added to this. Everything else is mod pack intended. So that's good and all. So let's get our journey on the road. So if we go back into here, we have some party play, which we're lonely. We'll just get that iron corn. We get some land claim. We have to use a golden hoe for this for some reason. Then we have the talent tree, which we'll go into uh, later on. Um, the talent tree allows you for additional layers of custom character customization found in this minus slash hub. For each level, you grab one talent point. So we'll grab that. This is like Path of Exile or Diablo if you ever played that. We have the rest, rest of the GUI, which will be, we press H and we go into minus slash. We will be going into int and then dexterity. Because I don't think I need anything here, unless it says summon health. We have summon damage, and this helps me with nothing but uh, moving, dodge rating. So, actually, we'll be going two intelligence, one strength. So that's our build right here for right now. We have some characters, uh, classes, obviously. We have another skill point here for some reason, because I think we leveled up to level three. So we're just going to go here, and grab this rejuvenating totem, and we're good to go. So we'll back out of that. Okay, we'll back out of that. Thank you very much, game. So then... Obviously, we have the passive point that we can't use, so we'll go here. Spell hotbar. This is for... We have supportive gems, too, so we got summon zombie. We're going to put there our poison blast, FC, and then our rejuvenating totem goes on V, so FCC. Nice, and then we get some support gems, which are extra gems that allow our skills to do many other things than just the normal base thing that it can do. Now we have talents. This is our talents over here. Obviously, since we went mage... That's the spear. I don't want to go to the spear. I want to go here. The staff. Here we go. We have four points. So, obviously, what we want to do here is go for summon damage. Um, let me see here. This is going to be, like, the most interesting thing here. This is, like, our build. So, let me see. If we do summon, stuff should light up. Or not, you know. That's cool and all. What is this for, then, if I can't do that? Anyways, I think we have to press the staff. Okay, we press that, and then everything else pops up for summons. So, grain 100% of your health as an extra summon health. We don't really want that. Some summon health, summon health. We might need those. Um, there's minion frenzy. More summon damage, less summon. Maximum summons. We want more summons. We don't want less summons. So, we can do maximum summons. Scroll out. Our goal would be the 3 plus summons. And then we can go over here for that. So what we can do is just start going over here, because this is our, the summoner. We want to go straight necromancy build. So what we'll do here is magic shield, magic spell damage. This goes for a one-on-one -on -one intelligence. And then from here we can go into minion frenzy. 
we can hit another node for minion health, which we can go into this tree. So for right now, we can let's see here, summon damage. We just want to go one int here, another int here, another hint here, and we're done for right now. Hopefully that converts to here. So we have 14, 6. Okay, perfect. Lovely. We love that. Ascendancies, we don't have that just yet. Jewels. Jewels can be placed onto these slots once once points have been allocated to jewel sockets and health trees. Okay. Hover over these in the GUI to learn more. I think we're good to go. So we're going to summon our zombies. Um, we're going to summon our zombies. Oh no, we don't have a weapon. I just realized. So we need our weapon first. Our first weapon, yes. Staff is what we want here. Arrows and experience, obviously. Gear stats. It's ETE2. CETE2, yes. You will craft and find many pieces of equipment. We got a gear stat. We'll learn about that later. Combat. Obviously, we have animations and combos we can do. First blood is our attack our first zombie, which we will get in a moment. So first off, we want to move our staff here. Focus moon staff with the skill damage. This does, and our implicit is 9% cast speed, which is perfect for us because we're going to be spamming our spells. We have gear, weapon damage, and increased crit chance. We have skill damage, and then we have a level 3 rare. So all weapons have a level. I think it corresponds to what level I am at the moment, and then it scales like that. So if I remember correctly, we have this. Yes, lovely. Put that on our back. Left shift. I don't know what is this is B. Okay, B is for backpack. Perfect. What else do we have to go on here? Go into quest. Our first blood. So here, now that we have our staff, we can start summoning stuff. Now if I remember correctly, I can have three of these at the same time. This is why you don't want to lose all your maximum summons. And then we get our zombie. Alright. Place that bad boy down. Right? That's not what I want to do. Place the zombie down, please. And then he just died instantly. There was no room for error there. They just murdered him. Cold blood. Also, this ambient sound is a little bit too loud. Even though it's at that. That did not turn it down. It's whatever. Alright, so that's our first blood. Go into H. Go into quest again. And we'll get our skill supports and spell augment. So we have burn chance support gem. So here we'll go on. Health on hit, bleed chance, accuracy support. We'll go on health on hit. I think, yeah, health on hit should be fair here. We want magic regeneration because we're doing mana most of the time. That's class reset points and an experience. So, as that's it here, skills require mana or energy and are used in combat. They can be learned through the classes tab. As you can see here, we put our gems in here and that makes our ability stronger. So, we're going to do that in a bit. So, we're going to suit up and get our cloth helmet. Obviously, we're going to go on cloth because we're a magician. Obviously, so we'll be grabbing that. We'll get a skeleton spawn egg blocking. Sure, we'll, so we'll get a blocking. We'll get a tome because we're a wizard, right? These are gems and runes can be socketed into a gear that have available sockets. As the rarity of the item increases, the amount of sockets it can have can also increase. All right, obviously, we'll go for we want lightning damage. No, we want we will more likely want more energy. Yeah, we want more energy. Oh, I get all of them. Okay, perfect. We don't have to worry about that. Easy kill. Test out the new spells and armors in the combat. So, as you can see, we can go into here again. Mine slash. Spell hotbar. Now, we'll take our mana augment. As you can see here. 2 plus 2 mana region. Locked support. Unlocking the skill slot by increasing your spell level. Oh, okay. Well, I will. I have to level these up just to get skill sockets. Strange. Can I put that here? Oh, I can. Nice. Augmentation. Okay, so this goes here. That's new. And then, do I have any skill gems? So, leech health support. Can't you put that on any of these right now, so we'll just have to wait for that. So first off, we'll put our protective tome on. So that goes into our left hand. That gives us 15% gear defense. Lovely. So we get magic shield 17. So now we have a magic shield. Uh, we can put this gear stat on this. How do I do this? Drag onto gear to use. You can also right click to generate an item. Okay, there we go. So cool real scene. Okay. So we'll put that away. We want to put this armor on. This gives me a magic shield. I think later on we'll get like gear that does multiple things. So I'll also get magic shield and an armor. And 5 plus health. This one gives me 5 gear defense. 7. And then this one gives me 3 plus mana. 3% mana and 5%. 3% health. I read that completely wrong. It's okay though. Okay, so let's see here. Put that away. We got a lot of stuff in my inventory right now. Put that away like that. Grab this. What's happening here? Why is my zombie getting fought? Put that away. I don't think I need anything. I just need to spawn the skeleton and then we're good to go. We'll spawn him. We'll press C because we can do our damage ourselves, which is 
good as well. Also, where did all my monsters go? What the heck? Hello? Why'd you guys die? Okay, there we go. Lovely. And then we we probably won't be playing like this the whole time. This is like iron. Uh, well, we'll grab that later. Ow. So, zombies don't attack any villagers or monsters until I attack them, unfortunately. Which, ah, that's a bad thing because eh, I don't want to get attacked first. So if we find anything, it has to attack me or I have to attack it for the zombies to attack. Which, I mean, it's a pain in the ass, but it's okay. I guess in the long run. So I could do this. So if I go into F5, right? Like, if I play like this, I can go like this to the dog and then... Oh, well, I just did too much damage, apparently. That fox is running for its life. Yeah, okay, so I just one-shot mobs at the moment. That's funny as hell. But I think the farther away we go, the more stronger the monsters get. So that's our main goal. We're going to make one base. There's a lot of monsters here. Let's see what's happening over here. Oh, um, hold up. Where are the monsters at? I see a lot of dots on the screen. On my mini-map. What is happening here? Hello? Where are the monsters? They lied to me. Anyways. Um, since we're in a village already, it's pretty good for us because we don't have to go anywhere. Lovely. Oh. Okay, so let's see. Okay, he did 19 damage straight up. Damn. Well, yeah. nope. You're, we're not dealing with you. This poison does damage, baby. So we're gonna go through this chest. What do we get here? Common stone, okay. I don't want to take everything. Orb of digging has a chance to add a socket or do nothing. Okay, we'll take that. Uh, what? Minus less professional, okay. What is this echo that I'm getting right now? Crops of the wind. Oh, okay. Ow. Zombies do something. Thank you. Okay, so where's the biggest house so I could just ransack that for the time being? We'll add in, uh, improvements to it later on. I just want, like, the biggest house here. Okay, this this has a little bit of space. You guys stay out there for right now. Ooh, we got a little farm as well. Why is my FOV so... Oh, my FOV is pretty fine. So, do that. Get that. Thank you. Ooh, it's glimmering cloth chest. That might be a little bit better than what I have right now. Gear stat soul. Okay, so actually, I have too many things in my inventory. Just like that. I didn't mean to go. Well, I have an emerald in my inventory already? Damn, okay. Okay, so now I need to make a chest. Because these chests I can't break, unfortunately. Like that. Put that right there. Put most of this right here. Do I have a map? No, let's mini map settings. This is the map, okay. So we're just gonna make a waypoint here. This is temp home, right? Lovely. So we're just gonna start mining stuff and then we'll be good as hell. Obviously it's nighttime. Nighttime came very quick though. That's my one of my concerns. Uh, where did I put my, uh... ah, there it is. Fifth FE to be also mine. They have shapeless, but I don't think I could break this with my fist. No, I'm gonna need an actual thing for that. Okay, so we're just gonna start breaking down some trees and we'll be right back. You see, you caught me at the wrong time. I don't need my zombies, even though I can spawn them. Where did my zombies go? They just die. No, not do zombie. Don't die like that. As you can see, this is a very effective build. I don't have to get close to anything, and I just fight with this. Bam. Get in there. Oh, you're saying that my zombies are dying? Oh. Put down this thing, and we regen. Look at that. Ooh, look at all that regeneration going on. Obviously. Oh my god. These zombies, these monsters are spawning quick. Whoa. Okay, that's my zombie. Got scared for a moment. Okay. So say I have zombies. I can put down this totem. Heal them. So, I'm in an area where I can heal. We won't be dying anytime soon. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. And then I heal them back up and they're good to go. Obviously, I need some more of this, but I just want to show you that little quick combo that I can do right there. Amazing synergies. Now we have space. So what I'll do here is put all of the uh, weapons and stuff in here. That goes into my... This goes here into my wallet. Money. We love that. 
And then we'll just fix this up real quick. Okay, cool. Lovely. Oh. Oh. Yo, I just vanished. <laughs> Goodbye, my zombies. You did. You served your purpose. Alright. Now that we have that going on. I think I want to break all this stuff in here to make more space. We don't like furniture in this area. Furniture is bad. So we're just going to break everything that's in here. Make more space. Obviously, we'll keep the lantern. That's free. Alright. And what we'll do here is put the lantern right there. Nice. Oh, I like the little animation with the lantern in my hand. Obviously, I could put another chest here. So we're going to move this out like this. We'll put this right here. Nope, that's the wrong thing. Stop putting that in my inventory, please. Right there. And then we have two chests right there. And that should start us off with everything we need. Bam, bam. Okay. That looks so weird. All right, so now that we have all that stuff down, we can do a quest again. We'll see what else we have going on. So we have waystones. Waystones are spread throughout the world and once discovered can be teleported via other waystones. Warp scrolls or warp stones. Ooh. So we got eight of those. I, there should be a warp scroll here or a waystone here. Throughout your travels, you'll find spirit orbs, which can be exchanged at the goddess statue for heart containers. Each heart container increases your maximum base health by two up to a maximum of 200 health. 100 heart containers. You can also find the heart containers from bosses in Craft Axe Tell too. We'll grab that. Thank you very much. Congratulations on completing your prologue quest line. By completing this final page, you can finally start your journey to Act 1. Ooh. Okay, let's get into Act 1. We'll get another staff here. Because we only need staffs. It's the only thing we need. We will not be grabbing anything else but a staff. So I think that's the only thing we can use. So, Act 1 is done. Oh, now we're in Act 1. So, Training Arc. Oz, 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 blah, blah, blah. Obviously, we already killed two of these. So, we killed those. We got some stuff like disturbances in the air. So, yeah, you find a zombie gateway from the last creatures you fought. Oh, but you sense an uncomfortable entry. And, and, okay, so could it be the cause of the uprise of the undead creatures? We have Ulti Miner. So, obviously, Ulti Miner we have. I need to change this to a different keybind. So, Ulti Miner needs to be changed. Keybinds. Ulti Mine. Can I put this on here? Okay, perfect. Done. Oh, well, speaking of which, we can do that to um effortless build. Well, the category, obviously. So this right here will change to this, and then we're done here. So now I have ulti mine and then the build. Okay, don't work then, I guess. You're cool, aren't you? You're a little snazzy. Okay, I'll, I'll put it back on G then. But you want to be such an asshole? You don't like button four? Fine, go to G. Apparently that's bound to something already though, but I guess it works like that. Oh, whatever. Anyways, we can put, what's the staff? So this staff here is a 9% cast speed, just like this one. This has gear weapon damage and an increased crit chance, and we have skill damage on this one. This one is the same. These are both the same thing. Why would you give me two? Okay, well, that goes in there. Okay, Pearl. Do I just spawn this, and then monsters just come out also? Oh, I just ate it. Okay, well, that works out too. Before we spawn that thing, I want to do minus slash. We have six points here. We'll do that. Um, Let's see here. For classes, obviously, we want to go into here. No, we want to go into that. Thank you very much. We have three points. So if I do this, attack, summon damage, predability, magic, physical cast, CDR. We're not level five just yet. Not that I know of. I don't know if I can grab these. Yeah, okay, so we can't grab these just yet. So what I want to do here is get this up, right? Go here. We want one in them. Electricity damage? I just want to put in skill damage. No, this doesn't even do damage. Oh, weapon damage. So do I want this? So this uses totem skill damage. Hmm, interesting. Okay, but this one. Plus one zombie. We need more zombies. Uh, okay. Remove that. Let's go back here. Let's go into talents. Obviously, we already know where we're going. We're going to go up here. So what do we have going on here? We can get minion frenzy for more damage. Game changer. I don't want that. Increase magic shield. Don't want that either. Um. So what we can do here is minion. What is this? Summon. There we go. 
So since we're already here, we can go to Dexterity, hit the Summon Health, and then Summon Health again. We'll get the 15% Summon Health, and then we'll go up. And then what we'll do here, since we can take this to go here, we can get more Magic Shannon Shield, more health, and then we'll get the Summon Damage from there. We can also go down to here, but I'm not going to do that because I get negative 15, 25% reduced health, which doesn't sound like a good idea. All right. Two one is a stick. Let's summon our zombies. It's one. Dose. Thress. And then... Oh, snap. Okay, so we summon that. Okay, hold up. Put this down. Okay, and we just start fighting. It's daytime, so I have the invention here. Okay, obviously. Get that ass band. Lovely. Where's our totem at? Two second uptime. God damn, okay. No, stay, stay close to the totem. The totem will help us live. Oh god, okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. Hold up, he's still alive, there we go. I'm on fire, not a good look. Yeah, so I want to I want to start like later here. Because then it gives me like a better range of motion here. So I can just go like that, hit them all, let the zombies go in. There we go. Kite, look at this kiting. Oh my goodness. Uh, developing strats off rip, look at that, we love that. This thing has a lot of spawns. Let's heal our zombies up while we're waiting. Alright, come on. Come on, show me the show me the money. Okay, hit that. Hit them with that. They hit me with something. Okay, zombies. Yes, do all the work. I love you. There we go. Get out of here. Thank you. Oh, this thing also drops stuff. I just realized that. What's in my inventory right now? Oh, a lot of stuff. Nice. None of my zombies have died, which is good. We love that. And then it should be the last last and final one. Okay, so these these zombies are like in my way as well. Jesus. Get in there, zombies. Oh my god. Zombies, get in there, please. Hey, we did it. And you need to go. There we go, nice. What did it drop? Ooh, iron ingots. I don't even have to go down there anymore. Wow, nice. Let's start building our house. Ooh, a gold ingot too? Ooh, let me grab that. Okay, so we've done that. We're level 8 now, which is good. My magic shield's going back up. Oh, I got farming XP? Oh, I didn't even know this is a thing. <laughs> well, now we can farm. We love that. Excuse me, zombies. I, you're in my way. So anything that's not a block goes in here. So we go like that, 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 that. Uh, Gunpowder, obviously. We have a lot of flesh now. It's not what we wanted. Ooh, crack booby. That's not supposed to be in there. This is not supposed to be in there. This, this, and this. Not supposed to be in there. Minor talent reset point. So we just dump all that in here like that. Grab this back out because that's not supposed to be in there either. Ooh, they're dying again. Oh, bye-bye, guys. It was nice knowing you. So I can go like this. And find out what I get. Archaeologist Soul Amulet. We do need this. Find out regen magic find. So what we'll do here. Open that up. Put that bad boy in. Put that bad boy in. We have this thing. I don't know if it's better than what I have right now. It is a helmet, though. Mine cage. Magic shield. This gives me armor and health. Which I think right now should be a little bit better from what I have right here. This is be 60 fear fence. A little bit better. We'll put that in there like that. Um, and then magic shield. Obviously, we want magic shield on this. That's on armor. So that's seven plus seven percent magic shield. Boom. Why can't I put it on me? Oh, wrong body. Okay, close that because that was confusing me. Alright, put that there. Okay, we got more magic find. What else do we have here? This gives me health regen. I'm not too sure I need, but we'll just put it on this for right now. Okay. Orb of imbalance. Yeah, imp unpredictably add or remove a tier of random affixes. So let's let's go gambling. What did I get? I'm not too sure actually. I don't know what actually changed. That's a problem. So 7% energy, which we do need. We'll put that on ours. Oops. There we go. 
This is fire resistance, which I can put on this thing right here because we have no sockets. There we go. 12% fire resistance. We're balling. Put that back here. Can I dis can I craft stuff with this or can I like break these down? We'll find out in a moment, I guess. Alright, did I get any gold? No, kinda broke. Or I already put it away. Alright, so H quest. Obviously we did this. Oh. Which which gateway? Oh no. Oh, one talent point from that. Nice. Other types of weapons. In ZT, there are various custom weapon types. Below is a list of all the weapon types with the custom ones hiding in yellow. Sword, axe, staff, bow, crossbow, dagger, spear, hammer. And keep in mind that they're gear stats, souls. So when crafting these, will give you mind slash stats. In CTE 2, you can also equip two-handed weapons at the moment. Uh, at the moment, only spears are two-handed. You can also dual wield any one or dual wield any one-handed weapon in the offhand hammer for 25% of their stats. It's not like I'm going to need any of these. Mana on kill sounds pretty good. Um, I'll just go for that. Oh, we get all of them. Okay, never mind. Just I don't know why it just gives me everything. Favor is a system that rewards players for a living. Every minute you generate a small amount of favor. Favor is soft caps at 2,500. However, you can go beyond this favor limit by opening chests. At 250 favor, you will have a 5% bonus on loot drops. Ooh. So as long as I don't die, that I will not be better. Orb of Infinity, we love those. Gear improvement. Throughout your journey, you will find yourself looking at more powerful gear. Gear power can be assessed in three main ways. The level, the rarity, and the quality. So obviously, quality is something we'll do later game because quality is something that's probably going to be harder to get than anything else. Level and rarity will be the most things we look at, but our attributes and some other effects that they do are the best things that we need right here. Get a quiver, which I don't really care about. Um, a Bruce and problem. The scouts have come back with another report. Obscenely large zombies, skeletons, and creepers have been sighted around the overworld. It's going to be the work of a witches. You need to find a witch and interrogator. So I got to kill three witches sometime. This is ulti miner, which apparently I need an iron pickaxe for. Don't know why it's asking me for an iron pickaxe of all things. This is spiritual sharpening stone. Upgrade the quality of an item by 2%. Can only be used once. Okay, so the, what's the quality on this now? It doesn't sell me the quality. Why not? Energy cost. Oh, quality 2%. There it is. So I can't use it once. I can only use it once on an item, which is weird. I don't know why that's a rule. Whatever. Put that away. Don't really need these. It's rare. Okay, so this is the gateway pro that we need. This, I think, spawns witches. Yeah, witches gateway. Um, We'll hold off on that right now. I want to expand this base real quick. also need some wool. So hopefully... Oh, it is nighttime. I need to find some sheep. Which I think, if I press J here, my minimap. up. So, Entity Radar Settings. We don't want dots. We want... Aww. Uh -huh. Cannot turn them into, like, icons? Well, that's not what I want. No, no names, please. I also don't want that either. Yeah. Entity Dot Style is, I guess, your default. There we go. Icon. I think we want to scale this down a little bit. Or make it a little bit bigger. That works too. Entity number is fine. No, that's fine. I think that should be right. Entity depth setting. Entity display. Entity height. No, I don't want that. Relative. No direction. That makes more sense, but that's not on that. My mini map is not that big. Uh, I don't want to do that. Can I make that not square? Circle? I want that to be a square. I'll figure that out later. All right, anyways, looking for some sheep, which I'm not going to, that doesn't look like there's any sheep on my radar. A lot of skeletons, which I don't really care about. I thought three of these at once? I didn't even know that. Okay, that's interesting. Spawn my monsters right here. Oh, there's a sheep. Get him. Oh, bro. That berry is messing me up. Okay, one wool. We got to find a little bit more of those. I can't zoom into my map. I just realized that. That's annoying. I gotta find out a lot of settings for that. Raccoon? What did I just hit? How did I hit him? Oh, hold up. Heal. Don't let him mess you up. Get him. It's free iron right there. Hey, nice. Oh, so we also mercy killed the raccoon, I think. Raccoon is dead. Fox, not really worried about the fox. I need to find a sheep. Which I think I saw some here earlier. Ooh, some barrels. 
Um, I'll take that, I guess. Barrel booty. Okay, thank you for that. Look for sheep, not some barrels. Ooh, I'll take that. That's durability. That's gear changes. Ooh, I'll take that as well. Thank you. Okay, where are we going? Where are the sheep at? That's a pig. I one shot him. Oh my god. He stood no chance. That's one of my zombies. Where are the rest of them at? Hello? Okay, there we go. I mean, it's kind of a... This is kind of free. I'm not gonna... What the heck? Is that a Lemurian? From Risk of Ring 2? What is that doing in my game? Oh, he's gone. R.I.P. Where is this Lemurian going? Where did the Lemurian go? Oh, he popped up and just disappeared. You can't be doing that. That's scary. Okay. Get out of here, please. Thank you. I cannot block, but I heard a blocking sound. What was that? Oh, there's a waystone here. Yo, okay. Hold up. What hit me? What the heck? I was hit by slow. Oh, that thing is special. Also, hello? Zombies? What y'all doing? Hello? Thank you. Okay, zombies are back. We love that. We need to get him right here. That's a special zombie. That's a special spider right there. Get him. Elite mob. Elite mob. Get him. Thank you. Oh. Wait, my mana. These cooldowns are crazy. Oh, we got him. Give me that gold, please. Thank you. I love you. Move out my way, please. Exocred. Okay. Got him. Thank you. All right, now we're just farming, I guess. That's. I mean, we need some levels anyway. So these level two zombies ain't shit. Get him out of here. They really don't do damage to me. It's that magic shield that I have on. Oh. I'm almost level 9. Let's go. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Yeah, there we go. I don't think I'm going to be finding sheep. It's too late at night, and these guys keep, keep coming at me for no reason. Yo. He got poisoned to death. Oh my god. That wolf is gonna die anyways. I had to take him out. I had to end his misery. Okay, so, my plan right now is just to... Steal wood from the villagers. Because honestly, we don't need this wood. Roof... Who needs a roof? Ow. Ow. Why are my zombies not doing anything? My zombies are useless sometimes. Oh my god. No way. I only got one wool, bro. Why am I why am I trying to get wool? Hold up. Oh. Oh, I got the wool that I needed. That was easy. I was looking for a house. Nine a dozen? Jesus, what is this? Oh, precision sun staff. That has nothing to do with what I need. We will not be taking that unless I can just break it apart. Well, now we can make... No, actually, it needs to be the same color, right? Bam. There we go. Bed is secured. Respawn point put. Alright, now I gotta fix this again. Because I have too many things in my inventory. Okay, that helps out. Who's dying over here? Oh, oh there's my bed again. Get that. Do we have anything of hammer related that I can use? No, we have these hammers, which that's not what I'm looking for. Want to simply hammer or something like that? That's fine. We have ult to mine anyways. So all we need to do is bring a lot of cobblestone to me, honestly. You don't take that with me. I need to go get some cobblestone because I don't have any. Um, Do I need this stick on me? Not really. Put that away for right now. Get this gray wool. Don't need that. This has to be a little bit more refined later on. I think that's fine. Oh, we could try out these now. So common stones. So you grab them. There we go. Lovely. Everything's repaired now. Wouldn't that be a nice addition to just Minecraft in general? That'd be pretty cool too. Before we leave though, 
Minus slash, obviously got three points. We're gonna add that like that. Talents. We're back into talent points. We got four of them. We'll grab that for minion health. We'll go over here for mana. HP. We want this. Perfect. So then we now we just go up. So we just go up here. This gives me shatter chance. Freeze damage. So we're just gonna ignore those. What can I do here? How do I get over there? So it's here, 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 here to here. That's one, two, three, four, five. I need five points for that. It shouldn't be too bad to get, right? Anything else that we need here? Classes. We don't use that class. Do I have to put five points in this to actually get level five in this? No? I don't see how this works then. Oh. It's just colored like that. I can learn Chilling Touch. Strike and slow enemies in front of you for 13 damage. Command your summons to attack them. Additionally, apply a stack of splinter effects to strike enemies, allowing your summons to deal proc. This splinter spell on him. Each stack of splinter effects increasing spawn chance. Interesting. This also allows me. This actually doesn't make the zombies attack. Hmm. Any weapon can use this. Any weapon can use this. Curse on agony. Return summons. We're not level 10 yet, so we can use that. Thorn bush. Actually, we do want chilling touch here. Go back into zombies because that's the most thing we want here i don't know why i can't go back here on this page it's kind of weird okay go back here spell hot bar and this one goes into this and that's r so when i go like that i can do that now so you have that and that obviously zombies are on my f bar i don't know what this is it's a spell that i don't know about oh my necklaces and my amulets break as well interesting so we're just going to take a stack of this with us, and I think we should be good from there. Oh. Oh. Summon my zombies. Ow, I'm being attacked. Be gone. Take this damage. No, I didn't like the, I didn't like that at all. I just came in here and just got attacked. I see you over there. Take this damage. Take this damage over here. Ah. That's half your health right there, buddy. I don't use no melee weapons. Straight range. Alright, so we're in the mines. What do we gotta do here? I'm looking for coal. And a lot of cobblestone. That's clay right there, which is good. Let's just go through here right now. Always have our weapon open. Never know why it'll happen. There's a cat in here for some reason. Rare cat of evasion. Mm, interesting. Where did you come from? Where is the coal at? I guess we just gotta keep going deeper. Oh, you know, I should have brought those warp stones with me. God damn it. Well. Oh, what is this range on this? Not that far. We'll use this for range. Get those fish out of here. measures that's a diamond hold up wait i need leverage ow jesus spawn these assholes please thank you okay now now what is that what's throwing crystals at me this is why you get that totem that totem be saving your ass. Oh my god, I almost died. It's a gem monster over there. Get his ass. Get him out of here. Okay, see, I don't... Okay, his gems are actually a pain in the ass. Oh, please stop. 
I'm poisoned. It's annoying as hell. Can I hit him, please? What am I hitting? Oh my god. What was that? Full health. Hit his ass. Thank you. Zombie burned to death. I don't know whose zombie that was, but it was not mine. That was horrid. I'm poisoned again. What is poisoning me? I'm level 10 now. Which I guess is good. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. That was an adventure, I guess. Spiritual orb block. Are my zombies still dying? Why did you guys get hit with poison by? Oh, it's this asshole. Excuse me. Let my energy shield restore itself, please. Where are you guys spawning from? I got a support gem, nice. Alright, diamond. Is it just one diamond? I mean, one diamond's one diamond, hey. I don't like, I, do I not get an achievement for that? Bro, it's a diamond. Oh well. It is what it is, I guess. Oh, I just got another diamond. Oh, that was not a diamond. Medium crystal. Rare drop. Okay, we'll keep that, I guess. Okay, let's keep mining until my pickaxe just dies out, I guess. I just got a ton of... Oh. Sir, don't die on me. That's not okay. okay one, two, like that. Oh. Zombies. Come on, let's not... Let's act better. Please. We have an, a threat coming after us. Glow in the dark... Glow in the dark skeleton. Get him out of here. Finally, coal. What I've been looking for this whole time. Iron pickaxe is level 7. This thing can level up? What the fuck? Does that mean I can do this to it? Hold up, I don't have it. But if I... If I have the gems thingies, I can... Can I level that up? I don't have any gems on me. Should have brought them. We'll keep the pickaxe alive, I guess. Can I go through here, please? I see my zombies doing it. Why can't I? How do I leave? Alright. Where's my house at? Ow. There it is. Hey, we're back home. Let's sleep. That was quick. Oh my god. Sweet dreams. Alright, nice. So, one point. That goes into, uh... I guess projectile damage because we're doing that. Salvaging. Oh. I got auto salvage? Yeah, we don't want no common gear. Get out of here. Salvaging, auto salvage. I don't want I don't want auto salvage jewels. Just the common gear and skills. What happens if I do this? How do I salvage? Um it's not telling me. Features. Well print helpful message when you kill okay. I want that. I wanna know when I kill the mob. Players who enable this consider team up and allies. Okay. Oh! Aggressive summons. We love that. When you loot chests and maps, they should drop their contents on the ground automatically. I don't think I have that just yet. Spellcasting failure. Sure. Okay. So those are features right there. Stats. That's not what I'm looking for. How do I salvage things? My maximum summons is three, obviously. That is off screen. That's not good. Physical damage. We don't do any physical damage. We're not supposed to. I'm assuming this is the uh, effects that our damage does. Oh, okay. Stats, obviously. Region stats. We regen eight health a second, I'm assuming. Yeah. Elemental resistances. We have a lot for lightning. So. When looking at this, our main goal is to get 37, 75 on everything. Because I think it stops at an X percent. Stops X percent of damage from that element. So the higher this goes, which currently we just need fire, frost, and then lightning. I think that's cold, not frost. Yep. So we need these leveled up higher. Chaos is something we'll get later on in the game. I'm hoping. We have no elemental damages. We have none of that. Other stats. And then all stats here, which I don't really care about. What I do care about right now is the minus slash. Talents. We have one point. So our one point will go here. 
Oh, we already have that. So just go here. I was wrong. There we go. Thank you. Put my stat in. All right. So that that ten percent attack damage for the uh, attack for the summons are pretty good. I like that. So just put all this stuff away. Obviously, we have some gold. Put that away. Thank you. Put another totem. There we go. Thank you for the the thing that says diamonds. I did get a diamond. Also, we could check this out. So, common stone. Does this work on tools? No, it does not. Then why do I have a level on my tool? Oh, this game has forsaken me. That is a CTE block. Uh, crack topaz. We'll put that away. These are all things that I can put away for right now. We'll deal with this later. Um, this is all blocks. Like so. Thank you. And then this goes here, 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 here. This is that. Alright. I think we got the gist of everything that we're going to be doing in this game mode. I'm going to fix this house up. This is too small for my flavor. I might make a house like right next to it. In that area that we were fighting those zombies in. We might make like a little uh, battlefield 2 for our warp gates. Yeah, I think we're good for right now. I gotta configure some settings, add a one more mod, which I think is stacker, and I think everything will be good from there. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.